Okay, so let's go back to what I was talking about earlier, which is what sort of keywords should we be using? And this really depends on are you doing um, corporate and airport? Are you doing retail? Are you doing larger uh, vehicles like uh, motor coaches and things like that? So each different category of business is going to target different types of keywords. And so for, for corporate type businesses, you really want to be targeting airports because that's really where you're going to get the bulk of your potential website visitors. And so what I like to, uh, what I like to use is, is three different things. So the airport name, plus the keywords. So for instance, if we were doing, um, let's say we we're doing um, Los Angeles LAX. So what's the airport name? Well, everyone calls it LAX. So the airport name and the code are really the same thing. Or, and then, so it, every airport's a little different. Like for instance, for JFK, almost everyone just calls it JFK. They don't actually search John F. Kennedy airport car service, right? They just search JFK car service or JFK airport car service or JFK airport limo service or limo from JFK to Stanford, Connecticut. Those are very common searches. And so every airport's different. And I'm guessing you know very, you know your location really well and you are probably very capable of coming up with what the best search queries are because you know your clients and you know what they would would call these things and so um but generally just like you see on the uh on the slide here generally it's going to be either the airport name plus the keyword airport code plus the keyword or airport location plus the airport plus the keyword so for instance San Francisco airport limo service could be a potential keyword. So what if you're a retail limo company? Now, I know a lot of limo companies do both, right? You do corporate, so you have that midweek work, and then you do retail, so you're booked up on the weekends. Well, retail is even easier. Literally, those are the only keywords you need. So let me give you guys another example in here. So let's say I was doing uh, we'll just do, uh, we'll do where I'm from, Huntington Beach, okay? There would be your keyword. No joke, no kidding, it's that simple. And um, you could do the same for a Huntington Beach party bus. And so, again, guys, I want to go back to something I said earlier, and that is I've really tried to condense this down to give you guys the the – the 20% that gets the 80% of the results. Now, look, there are other keywords you can use if you really want to, um, to completely maximize your lead volume. There's lots of other little things you can do, but I wanted to keep this training very simple so that you guys could, when you get off of this, um, is it a good idea to include your state code? Um, so here's what I've typically found. I've typically found that um, as long as you have your city plus uh, the keyword, you're going to still be triggering people searching for the state code as well. So you could include it, but you're still going to be capturing that, um, that traffic through if you just have your city plus the keyword. Now, I will say this. If, you, if your location has like another location somewhere in the US that is also a, a large city and they're the same name, then yeah, it's probably a good idea to include your state. And so what I would typically do in that situation is this, I would do something like just limo, Huntington Beach, CA, something like that. So the plus doesn't need to be in front of every word. Having a plus in front of it tells Google this, this word must be in the search query. So if you don't include a plus, so I just did CA, so if someone searched Huntington Beach, California, my ad would still get triggered. And so that's kind of the idea behind the, uh, the adding the plus. And so really screenshot this, guys. That's all you need to know. 
location plus limo and location plus party bus is really uh, is really all you need for retail-based limo campaigns. 